LPT request how do people who work demanding 9-5 jobs take care of other life tasks? I work a pretty demanding 9-5 job in tech. I'm having a really hard time doing my job and also finding time to schedule life appointments. Doctor, dentist, mechanic, etc. let alone actually go to them. Similar situation for all other life things like taking care of literally anything that requires you to call a business during the week to resolve an issue. How do you all handle balancing this? Many of the doctors, dentists, etc. are also closed on Friday as well as the weekend which limits my time to only MTR for even going to appointments. I'm starting to feel real stressed as there isn't enough time in the day to sit on the phone for hours trying to resolve life issues, schedule appointments and then actually go to the appointment plus work. What's worse is that it seems like most places are starting to push the legwork back on the customer. For example I made an appointment to see my doctor to get a prescription filled. Went to said appointment. Went to the pharmacy and the pharmacy didn't have my meds. Called doctor and doctor told me I had to call around all other pharmacies to find one that had my meds in stock. Called X number of pharmacies who told me that they couldn't give me that info and to have the doc. Called directly. Called doc back to report this to him. Doc still pushed me to figure it out due to staffing shortages. This phone tag ate up four hours of my day. Just this. Trying to take care of simple tasks is now taking 3x the time. How do normal people handle this and not get fired for asking off all the time to deal with life? In the past, people who worked full time had another person at home who could take care of all appointments, maintenance, and life admin. Now that both people have to work, there's not a lot of time energy or mental bandwidth left for much else. You're definitely not the only one who struggles with it. Full-time hours were designed around having another person at home to take care of all this shit. So don't feel bad if you feel like you can't do that all by yourself or with a partner who also works full-time. I don't understand it either. We spend the majority of our days preparing for work, working, and then unwinding from work. Then we spend the weekends on cleaning chores and getting ready for the next week. I just told my partner this morning that this can't really be life for the next 30 years until I retire. It took me losing my health to realize that work had to stop running my life around work. And that the demand was mostly in my head. After I put of going to the doctor for months, I could not work. Took months to recover and never got back to full health ever again. All in the name of my 9-5. I really wish it didn't take that to get me to realize that it wasn't worth it. I've paid people to schedule appointments and make annoying phone calls for me. Like, random friends. If you figure it out let me know. My kids are missing many of their life appointments too. Single mom. Off topic. But I work in hospitality and my days off are usually during the week. And while I used to regret falling into this career, these threads make me feel super blessed that I have plenty of time to take care of my errands. Every week. And I always avoid rush hour traffic. And I stay on my feet all day. And I still earn a decent salary with benefits. No good tips, just here for the solidarity and to find a solution. Working MF85 made me miserable. It doesn't work. That simple. When you hear about work-life balance this is exactly the shit that's being talked about. It is literally impossible to do the life needs when you work so much. And then you just end up burning yourself out. Honestly. It sounds like you're being guilt-tripped into picking up slack for your co-workers that are on. Long-term leave. If half your team is on long-term leave, the company needs to hire 1099s on short-term contracts to replace them or accept less output. You just need to say fuck it and put your health and well-being first block off time on your calendar. Do what you need to do.
If you're in high demand, you have the leverage to tell people shit takes as long as it takes. Remember, the reward for shoveling the most shit is just a bigger shovel. That's strange. I've worked in tech for 17 years and all of the companies I worked for had no problem letting you step out for important stuff from time to time. We were just and still are required to put it on our calendars so they will know when to schedule meetings. Nine companies in total said it was just a fluke with one of them. I work an eight-hour day five days a week. No kids. Just myself and my pets and I still find it difficult to do anything during the week. I tend to save cleaning until the weekend. I'm just too mentally exhausted to do anything but disengage until bedtime. Maybe it's burnout. Maybe partly health issues. I can only imagine what it would be like having kids. A family. Having to be a caregiver. Having to work a second job again. Etc. I take care of adult things during work time within reason. Doctor appointments. Errands. Etc. My work doesn't care or track time at all because I get my shit done. If that changes. Bye. Not everyone has that leverage though. I realize that. I took a 50 pay cut and chose a job that I liked, and allowed for 888 split sleep work life. I have found a doctor's office that allows online scheduling of appointments. I try to book first in the morning so I don't wait or write at lunch. And honestly, most of it is making yourself a priority. I don't want cavities, poor health etc. My work allows up to two hours of flex time and I'm salary. I just plan around it and take the time off. I mean what? Annual physical. Two dentist appointments? What else are you doing? I see an allergist weekly for shots and do it over lunch. You take the day off to run those errands. It's really hard. Here's something I do that helps me keep from feeling like I'll never catch up. I look at all of the stuff and think of what I can realistically do next month. In February there are a few things I'll tackle. Same for March. I have a million home project I want to do. I pick three a year that I'll be able to afford and make time for. I always underplan because things will come up. Oh trust me you are not alone. Apart from a full-time job I also have a sick parent and I struggle to schedule a bath regularly. Forget dentist appointments and actually going to them and I'm one of the lucky ones that does not have too many money worries. I'm burnt out, exhausted and I can't believe people actually choose to bring children into this hell hole. I have no good advice I'm barely managing to hold anything together it's a house of cards about to collapse. Once something like a family medical crisis hits. But you have too much work to even take the PTO. You just start falling apart. It was a fragile balance. And then things happen and you can see a doctor and they'll tell you that you need rest but there's no way you can take it. You just live in overwhelm and stress until it burns you out. You have a heart attack and die. Unless you earn enough to hire someone to help you. You are obviously early in your career. With time you learn to compartmentalize work pressures stress and life obligations. Parents learn this quickly between appointments. Sports and school meetings. Take a deep breath and know that you returning a personal call at work is not a big deal. If it is, then you are not in a good work environment. If an employer expects you to stay on to finish a task then they should be able to be open to life. Creeping into work. Schedule personal days to run around for those obligations. Leave work early. Show up to work late. Talk to your manager team. They need the same flexibility. This is why I got away from that. Felt like I never had time to myself. Now. I work three twelves and a six. I don't do a damn thing on my first day off. My second day off I get everything done. My last day off I also don't do a damn thing lol. Do things while at work. Schedule thing at work. Go to things near your work on your break. 